In a previous video, we've discussed how a one-dimensional Fourier transform of a detector function at angle theta is equal to the slice through the origin at rotation theta of the two-dimensional Fourier space of the object function. Now the proof of this is actually fairly straightforward and follows quite naturally from the definitions of the one-dimensional and the two-dimensional Fourier transforms. And for more information about the Fourier transformations, look in the description below this video. Now firstly, we write down the two-dimensional Fourier transform of the object function f. This is a double integral over x and y of the function itself, multiplied by e to the power of minus i 2 pi times zeta x plus eta y, with eta and zeta the frequency components of the Fourier domain. Again, this is just from the definition of the two-dimensional Fourier transform. Secondly, we write down the Fourier transformation of a detector function. This is the integral of the detector function multiplied by e to the power of minus i 2 pi times omega t. Now we can express the detector function here in its radon transform form, which remember is the line integral over the object function f on all points on the line parameterized by x cosine theta plus y times sine theta equals t. So we can then rewrite the Fourier transform of the detector function as the double integral of the object function multiplied by e to the power of minus i 2 pi times omega times x cosine theta plus y times sine theta, which clearly resembles the two-dimensional Fourier transform of the object function. And indeed, if we substitute eta for omega cosine theta and substitute zeta for omega sine theta, we get that the one-dimensional Fourier transform of the detector function equals the line tilted at an angle theta of the Fourier transform of the object function, thus proving the Fourier slice theorem. 